Hey guys, welcome back to Don't Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Uh, this is another episode or whatever of Crochet and Chat. Um, it is Sunday morning. What is today? The 9th? The 8th the 9th? Somewhere on there. I can't remember. Is that right? I don't know. It's Sunday morning. <laughs> Just as uh, his grandpa's Devin is still in bed. He's off work today, so we're probably going to get into something later. So I thought I would stay here and work on Miss super snappy's leg because I just have to crochet in the round until it's 11 inches long and do another one of these or two if it's a short one I keep looking over here because usually I have the phone laying that way where the cameras are there but now it's over there and this new phone like really <laughs> really shows my face for what it is <laughs> all right and this one's from Hannah at the cozy cottage crochet I'll link her up there and it says she put something to the effect of hashtag nerd life, games alike, and fandoms that I'm part of, and all that. So, some of you may not be interested in this because it's not crochet related, but I'll run through it real quick. Let me get my super snappy up here. All right, games that I like. We'll start with console games. <laughs> I love any Nintendo game. I love, I'm a huge fan of Legend of Zelda and Mario, you know, everybody loves Mario, and I love, love, love Legend of Zelda. I have a Nintendo 64 still, and the Ocarina of Time, and that's my favorite Zelda game, except for on the GameCube. I love uh, the Wind Waker Zelda. It's really hard to find out it's a pretty rare game. I used to own it a long time ago when it like came out. I wish so bad that we had kept it because it's it's pretty expensive, you know, valuable right now. But oh well. I'm sure I'll get a copy of it one day or they'll remaster it and release it on the newer gen. They might have already done that, I don't know. Um, I really want a Nintendo Switch. Uh, we haven't even had to got to play with one of those yet. I used to always I loved the Wii when it first came out. You know, it was the first like motion game. It was real cool. But right now we have an Xbox One, which we which we play games on and we stream, you know, our TV through. But um, games that I play now is always Skyrim. Any Elder Scroll game, I will always play. I loved Morrowind on the computer back in the day, and then it came out on Xbox, the first Xbox, and it was so cool. My brother actually had it in his back pocket and sat on it and broke it, and I was so mad at him for that. For the longest time, but I got over it. And I used to love the old like Boulder Gate games. I actually have like three of those old computer games that I got at thrift stores just to keep for memory reasons. And um, I loved Oblivion. That was the first game I ever beat by myself without my brother's help. And then Skyrim. I love Skyrim. I still haven't beaten Skyrim. It's such a big game, and I'm, I'll be doing the main quest, and then I get sidetracked by all the side quests. Or, whoops, what did we just start? I don't know why I did that. It's really weird. That was Unseen Strange just came on. I had another uh, video paused. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, Devin sometimes downloads mods for it, and then it messes my game up a little bit. So I have to get him to take it off because I don't really know how to do that. Yeah, Skyrim will always be one of my favorite games. And of course, Minecraft. Me and Devin love playing Minecraft together. I love playing it by myself, but we love playing it together. Usually when he's off and we have time, we're not busy doing stuff. We um we sit down and play that for a few hours. It's a lot of fun. It's just fun to, you know, explore and mine and build houses and stuff. I can't wait till the update releases. They're updating it soon. The the ocean part of it, they're updating that and a bunch of stuff. It's gonna be cool. Um, yeah. Me and Devin are huge, and my whole family really, my side of the family, his family not so much, but um, are huge um, board game fans. We love board games. I actually have one right here. My uncle made this. I don't know if I can get this out. So it's in between the wall and the couch. That's a grease spot, by the way. <laughs> I got grease on my left foot. I don't know the actual name of this game, but we always just called it Marbles because you, you use marbles to play, and this is so fun. We love this game. My uncle made that. He 
woodworked. I don't know if he still does, but he used to make all kinds of stuff. That's actually the second one because my first one was in our house when it burned and he made me a second one. Anyways, um, we love every board game. Monopoly, Life, there's one called Quelf that's really cool. Um, I love card games, like, you know, any actual card games, poker and stuff. And I love um, Skippo and Phase 10 and Uno. All those kinds of games we love. So, like, me and Devin love playing Mad Gab together because it's so funny to hear each other try to say these things. What else? Can't think of any other games that I really like a lot. Yeah, that's probably about it. I love role playing games for you know consoles and computer and stuff. Oh, that's always been my thing, especially like medieval based ones. I used to play um, Age of Empire all the time, and that was real fun. I still have that. I play that every now and then. And, I don't know. I guess that's about all the games that I like playing. Let's see here. What was the second part of that? Fandoms? Oh, Fandoms, yeah. Elder Scrolls, for one. Always, always been an Elder Scrolls fan, and always will be. Lord of the Rings fandom, I'm into. <laughs> Big time. I, used, I haven't watched them in a while, but I love Lord of the Rings. I haven't read the books. I'm not that kind of fandom person. Their books are way too big for me. I may, maybe one of these days, but not right now. <laughs> I don't have any time to read with Jesse. Uh, Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. I love everything Harry Potter. I'm not as big a Harry Potter fan as my sister, but I'm a pretty big Harry Potter fan. I used to love playing those games too, especially the computer ones. Those are a lot of fun. I can't wait to the new uh, Harry Potter app comes out. It's supposed to be coming out at the end of this month in April. And it's going to be kind of like Pokemon Go, but Harry Potter themed, and that's going to be cool. Um, I don't really know if I am part of any other fandoms. I never got into Sherlock Holmes or Doctor Who. I really have no interest in watching either of those. <laughs> I really liked Avatar. The um, I guess it's anime. I'm not sure if it counts as anime because it's more. It doesn't look like anime drawing, but uh, it's really good. I actually own all of that on DVD. I bought it all when I saw it one day at a store. <laughs> uh, I can't think of any other fandoms off the top of my head that I'm in. Let's see here. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. <laughs> I don't get that much done so far. I don't have a ruler, so I'm just gonna, I guess, eyeball it. I guess I'll go ahead and draw another one. Oh, let me talk about apps real fast. App games on my phone. <laughs> I like playing um, Township. I love that game. Me and my sister play that. And there's one called Fishdom. It's made by the same people. I think it's like Player X or something like that. And Words with Friends. I play that with my mom. And I used to I used to be really into um, like Candy Crush and all that. But when I found that Fishdom one, I, I stayed with it because I like fish stuff. Fish related stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's... That's about all the apps that I play. <laughs> I used to play a lot of uh, app games, but now I just keep mostly fished them in uh, Township. All right, this next one is from T. Vernon, and it it uh, is project successes and failures. <laughs> and I think she said not just crochet is like D D I Y and all that, which I do a lot of D D I Y. <laughs> do it yourself, yeah. He wants to say DUI. I don't do a lot of DUIs. I do a lot of DIYs. But I can't really think of any that I failed at. Not that I'm saying I'm awesome and it's just I'm really <clears throat> particular when I'm doing stuff like that. Like I take my time and I do each step. I'm one of those people who reads the manual. So, you know, I always follow the instructions to, you know, like to the whatever that expression is, I can't remember it, <laughs> to the T or whatever. <clears throat> so I usually don't mess up 
do-it-yourself projects. I can't really think of any that I've failed. Um, when I was eight months pregnant with Jesse, I built a dresser. <laughs> that was pretty rough. It took about three and a half hours. But I got it built. I got blisters on my hands because at the time we didn't have an electric drill. So I had to use a screwdriver. And it had a lot of screws. <laughs> um, most crafts that I do work out pretty good. But I don't really go and do hardcore crafts. <laughs> I haven't tried anything crazy hard yet. We do want to get into like wood building furniture type things and stuff. When we get a house so that we can have like a garage with tools in it. <laughs> But, um, maybe by then, you know, when that happens, I'll probably have some failures. <laughs> but, um, not yet. I haven't had any big failures on, on that part. In crochet, I kind of took to it really quickly, so I didn't really have a lot of, I haven't had a major failure in crochet. About the worst failure I have right now is my grease blanket has been sitting around for like a year not being done. And will probably continue to be in hibernation for quite some time because it's just a huge project and I, I lose interest in it after a while. What else? I don't know. Because usually like if I'm making like a crochet project and I start realizing I'm messing it up, I rip it out and start over. So I don't try to wing it and then end up not liking the final result. <clears throat> I guess I really haven't had a lot of craft or craft related failures and successes. Like I'm trying to think of do yourself successes that I've had, but I really don't. I haven't done a lot of them lately, so I'm not exactly sure. About the most DIY thing I've done lately is <clears throat> I put felt on the bottom of my table so that when we move it around on the floor, it doesn't scratch the floor. <laughs> and. I guess making those cakes for Devin and Jesse, those are do-it-yourself projects. They didn't fail. I think Jesse's fish cake on his first birthday looked a little funky, but it, I mean, it looked like a fish, so. People understood what I was going for. <laughs> I don't really see things as success and failures. I see them as, you know, done or not done. Because, I mean, if, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not a negative type person, so I don't see stuff as, oh, I messed it up, you know, I failed it. I just see it as like, oh, I, I may have tweaked it a little. <laughs> it's different than it was supposed to be, but it's done, and I like it. So, that's kind of my outlook on a lot of things in life. <laughs> um, I try not to be too negative. I mean, the world's negative enough. There's always going to be negative people in your life. You know, there's always negativity floating around, so why add more to it? <laughs> so, I try to be as happy as I can and as positive as I can, especially... In the family, you know, when Devin or Jesse are around, because I don't want my negativity to affect their mood. I mean, you know, I'm not a perfect per person. Sometimes, especially around particular times of the month, I get a little grumpy. <laughs> but I try real hard to remind myself to, you know, that it's no one's fault. It's just things happen sometimes, you know. So you gotta just try to. The day is gonna continue no matter what, so you you might as well make it end better than it started. <laughs> And that's just kind of how I live my life. Devin is a very positive person too, which is awesome. We're both we're both kind of laid back and just go with the flow, you know. We live. Um, thing, you know, the way we see it is like you know things happen, and that's just life. You just, you know, life continues. <laughs> life goes on. You gotta find the happy bits and the bad bits. So I'm the same way with like projects and stuff. If I do fail something. Or mess something up. I um, I either redo it <laughs> or I uh, just finish it anyways, and it may just be different than what it was supposed to be. And that's okay. I've done that with a lot of crochet projects actually. I've like messed up rows, and sometimes I'm the kind of if it's noticeable, like if I think someone else will notice it, I will rip it back. But if it's something not super duper noticeable, I'll just um continue. <laughs> I do that a lot in projects, actually. Or if I'm counting and I realize I dropped a stitch, I just increase, <laughs> add that stitch back in there and go on with my life. I don't mind. Ooh, I almost accidentally increased right there. I feel like this, um, 
Because I love this Sharon. It's just light peach. Ooh, that's the window's open, so it's not at all. That's kind of <laughs> super thinner than Red Heart. But that's all right. It's still coming out good. It's a leg. Can't see it. <laughs> I feel like her foot's huge, but oh well. That's all right. She can have big feet. I guess we'll do another one since those two are kind of short. I'm running out of ideas. I'm going to have to write down some more. My hand's stuck. <clears throat> oh, this is another one from Grace. <laughs> uh, GB Maltese. What are my favorite places to eat? Or I guess where? I don't know if that's wrong. Where are my favorite places to eat? Genres of books. Hard, do I like hard copy books or digital? Okay. Favorite places to eat. I guess this means like restaurants. And, um... I'll start with fast food restaurants. <laughs> My favorite fast food restaurant ever, so far, is Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A. I love their little chicken bite thingies. Especially the ones I serve at breakfast because those little rolls that they're on are so good. They're like little Hawaiian rolls and they're buttered and yum, yum, yum. I just love those. But I don't get to get it a lot because usually the town that that's in, it's just our neighbor in town, uh, the, about the only day we ever get to go there is Sunday, so they're closed. But, it's still good. I love it. I love their waffle fries. And I love their tea. That's like my favorite fast food restaurant. My second favorite fast food restaurant is Burger King. Because I love their chicken fries. And Jesse does too. Those Je Jesse loves those chicken fries. He will always eat them. And he won't eat the french fries or nothing. He'll just eat the chicken fries. Which is cool. And one little, one box. So all my servant does him like two meals. <laughs> So I'll, I'll give him a few chicken fries, and then the next day he can eat them again. But um, and I guess my sit down restaurant or this is also takeout because we we take it out a lot is Panda Garden. I love Panda Garden food. I wish we had more um, Asian restaurants around here because I'd like to try a bunch of different Asian cuisine. <laughs> But I love Panda Garden. And I realize it's like the American version of Asian food. But, um, oh well. It's still good. We go there a lot. Probably more than we should. <laughs> and, um, I just love it. Mm -mm -mm. I love sesame chicken. It's like my favorite Asian meal. <laughs> Got little yarn fuzzies floating around. And my favorite actual go in and set down type restaurants. Mine and Devin's both favorite is O'Charlie's. We love O'Charlie's. They got the best steaks, I think, in, out of all the restaurants around us. Uh, I mean, we haven't tried them all. There's some that we just don't go to. Like, we've never been to Outback or uh, Longhorn. But we, we used to always love Cheddar's until we, like, went to O'Charlie's one day, and then we just never went back. And their rolls are so good. I love their rolls. And uh, we both love Chili's. Devin always gets the, like, fajita thing. Um, steak fajita or something like that and I always get uh, the steak I think I, I used to get ribs a lot but I've just kind of got out of eating them a lot so now I get steaks uh, where else do we like to go I guess that's a, really about it because we We've tried a few different places. We, well, I used to love IHOP. We used to go there all the time when, before I was pregnant and when I was pregnant. Um, actually, the only two times I ever threw up while I was pregnant was after I ate IHOP. Because <laughs> there for a while they had these awesome waffle, Belgium waffles that were uh, banana pudding Belgium waffles. And it was so good. There was waffles with banana pudding on top and like banana slices. Mmm, it was so good. <laughs> I wish I still had those. But yeah, back when we were first dating and uh, Devin worked second shift at another place. He went to work at two, I think, and got off at like 11 uh, at night. So we would always, after he got off, we would go to IHOP because that was the only place open other than like Huddle House and McDonald's. <laughs> and uh, we would always get, I'd always get the breakfast platters and he would always get like dinner meals. It's just, it's fun to, you know, have memories like that. There was another restaurant here that was like an independently owned one that we used to love. It was where we went on our first date at. And, um, it was so good. It was called Flippin' Burgers. And they, it was kind of like Subway, but it was a burger place. And it also made chicken sandwiches, which is what I always got. Because I don't really like burgers. Um, 
I'll eat one like once in a while, but I mostly like chicken sandwiches. Um, and, you know, you'd pick out everything and they'd cook it right there in front of you and you, you pick out the top and it's like you do that Subway. And it was so good. And they had Cajun fries and they were the best fries ever. But they closed because the people who owned it were missionaries. And uh, they sold it to another family and they went on missionary trips or whatever. And then right after that other family took it over, it just went under, I guess, you know, because a lot of a business is the person behind it, you know, it's, you know, privately owned businesses like that. It, it matters who's running it because, you know, that's who you build your trust with and all that over all the years that they're running it. So it does suck when a business you love changes owners and the atmosphere changes. And I guess that's what happened to Flippin' Burgers because there were three locations in three different cities around us and one closed and then a few months later the other one closed and then the last one closed and that sucked because that was the one that we always went to. And we went on our our first dates were there and it was in the, a mall. We would go and walk around the mall and it, the, that same mall used to have a huge um, flea market in it but that's since been closed and now it's uh, Planet Fitness. <laughs> and uh, actually that whole mall is closed now except the Planet Fitness side and the, only, the end is the JCPenney. But the middle part, the big mall part's closed because it um, was condemned. It's a really old, leaky mall. Which stinks because, you know, there's a lot of memories there. Me and Devin used to go there and walk around and shop and eat. and It's just a lot of fun. But, yeah. That's where I like to eat. And, of course, I love home-cooked meals. And home-cooked meals, like, my favorite are Devin's dad grills. Well, he, he used to grill out and then he made a smoke, like a, I guess it's a smoker fire pit thing. It's like a fire pit with a rack over it. And then he puts a lid over it. So I guess it's kind of like a smoker. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but he cooks out all kinds of stuff like that. And it's always so good. He makes pork steaks a lot. And mm, they're so good. And during the summertime, we make fires. And we roast like hot dogs. And uh, we make s'mores and watch movies. Because he's got a big projector screen that he puts up outside. And it's just really cool. And I, I can't wait to do that this year. Now that Jesse's old enough to... Um, participate better <laughs> last year he pretty much slept every he was like sleeping every time we did it but um and I love me and Devin love cooking new dishes and we made a tortellini thing once it was like a four cheese stuffed tortellinis and then all the ingredients around it <laughs> that it was cooked in was like pizza it's pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese and pepperonis and stuff and it was really good but tortellinis are kind of expensive, so I only ever get them when they're on a good sale at Kroger. <laughs> it's getting there. I'm not exactly. I wonder if I. I seem like 11 inches would be really long. I don't know. I may have to measure it a little bit and look at the picture. <laughs> but um, I should probably stuff it because it's gonna the more. The further I go, the harder it's gonna be stuffed. But I can use a big crochet hook or something to stuff it down in there. The foot's already stuffed. <laughs> um, yeah. We like, I like um, roasts. I like trying to cook them different ways. When I grew up, my mom always cooked roasts in crock pots. And so I always cooked roasts in crock pots. But they made me and Devin like real bloated filling. And I think it's because they were sitting on all those juices. So I started cooking, when we moved here last year, I started cooking roasts in the oven, like on a baking, what are they called, dish thing. <laughs> And it's so much better. We don't get the bloated feeling. <laughs> but we get the awesomeness of a roast. Because I love pot roasts. Well, I guess it's not pot roast anymore. <laughs> I love roasts of any kind. I love beef roasts. But they're so much more expensive. We usually buy pork ones. They're a lot cheaper. Um, I love just trying to find new flavors to add to stuff like that. And uh, I think the worst part about cooking is finding side dishes that are good. And go good. One of our favorite meals that we've learned is the, what are they called? Honey garlic meatballs, and then I always make them with garlic mashed potatoes. So good, so good, so good. I'm actually thinking about making some of those this coming week. Devin wants a meatloaf, and he, uh, we, we, made, blah, blah, blah. we made one that is a, like, mozzarella stuffed meatloaf, and it's really good. It's got, like, Italian seasonings in it. 
So I might make one of those this week too. Because he really... I usually make what he asks for because he usually doesn't ask for much. Typically when I ask him, you know, what would you like for dinner before he goes to work? I, um... He says, oh, I don't know. You know, just whatever you feel like making. And I'm, that annoys me to death. I just want him to tell me what he wants. <laughs> but, um, he'll eat anything I cook usually. So, when he does mention something that he wants or would like, I definitely make it because... He doesn't mention stuff like that a lot. What was the other part of that? Books. Genres of books. I don't get to read a lot anymore. I used to read a lot before Jesse, <laughs> But now I don't really get to read a lot. My favorite genre of books used to be young adult uh, fiction. You know, like Harry Potter and stuff like that. I loved a lot of, um, you know, just anything like that. Even, you know, like, from preteen age all the way to now, I would still read stuff like that. <laughs> uh, I just love the way young, young, adult, young adult books are written. Well, I can't speak. And I love um, period books, I guess is what they're called. More specifically, um, like, the Victorian ages and the Pioneer days. <laughs> I love westerns, the, like, TV shows and movies. I love, love, love them. Love, love, love them. Like, I could watch them all day and be happy. Uh, Devin hates westerns, so it's kind of funny. That's about the only thing we we'll disagree on. And, um, so I, I used to love reading those books about, you know, that time period. And I love anything in the, like, Victorian ages or whatever. Like, you know, Sense and Sensibility and Pride and Prejudice and stuff like that. Little House on the Prairie, the books and the show. <laughs> they are getting tangled a little. in there <laughs> hard copy or digital hard copy I do not like reading books on a phone or a kindle or any of that stuff I want an actual physical book in my hand and I actually prefer a um, paperback book so that I could fold it I know a lot of like book people don't like when you fold the books or break the spines or write in books or fold the pages down or any of that but I like doing all that stuff <laughs> uh, I like being able to hold the book in one hand without having to use two hands or something to hold the pages back. So I do fold my paperback books and it does break the spine, but I like a worn book. <laughs> and I do write notes in my books or I underline things that I like about book, you know, like dialogue that I like. And I'm a page folder downer. <laughs> and I know there's a lot of book, book um, snobs out there that don't like any of that stuff, but I do. I like a well, well worn book. You know, it shows that someone loved that book. And, uh, my most well-worn books that I've ever owned was my copy of Twilight. Because <laughs> I love the Twilight books. The books are awesome. The movies are not that good. But the books are awesome. And, uh, my copy of that, The Outsiders. My first copy. I have a hard hardcover copy now that's not as worn. Because it's a hard, you know, it's made better. But I had a soft copy that was really worn. I love The Outsiders. That's, that's my favorite book. I've read that book probably 200 times in my life. And I love the movie. <laughs> Gotta love Patrick Swayze and Rob Lowe. Not a big fan of Tom Cruise. But I love Patrick Swayze and I love Rob Lowe. <laughs> Let's see Thomas Howell. And the guy that plays is Johnny. I can't remember his name. He's the Karate Kid. Ralph something that I can't say. Ralph mm, something. <laughs> I love that movie. Oh, I wish I had that. I used to have it, but I don't know what happened to it. But I want the, um, there's two copies of that movie. There's one that's just a regular, like, the theatrical cut one, and then there's one that's called the complete novel cut, and it is the book. That's, like, the only movie I've ever seen made that was just like the book, the complete novel version. It is, when you watch it, it's just like you're reading the book. Everything is the same as in the book. It's so cool. I wish I had that version. But yeah, that's one of those movies that growing up I used to watch. I would watch it and then I would, as soon as it ended, I would start it over. <laughs> I was that way with that and Grease. I love Grease. Grease is probably one of my favorite movies. That's one of those movies that I could watch anytime. And I wouldn't sit there and watch it all the way through. Like, I, if I started it from anywhere in the movie, I would just sit there and watch it all the way through. I love Grease. And I have loved Grease since I was a little kid. I remember when I was a little kid, my mom, 
the part where all the guys are in the garage um, dreaming about cookies lightning and what you know how they would fix it up my mom would always fast forward past that part when I was growing up because of the lyrics but you know I was little I wouldn't have known it that they were raunchy you know the whole movie's kind of raunchy <laughs> it's got a lot of innuendos in it that's how a lot of things are I was watching um, on Hulu Home Improvement I used to grow up watching that on Nickelodeon with Tim Allen in it and Jonathan Taylor Thomas who was a heartthrob back then but um we was, me and Devin were starting the first season the other day. We were just sitting here eating Panda Garden that we went and picked up. And we wanted to watch something. So we turned that on. And um, it was so funny. Because like the first few episodes, there were so many adult jokes that, you know, I never remember from my childhood because I was a kid. I didn't understand the jokes. You know, that was the stuff they put in there for the parents that got stuck watching it with the kids. And me and Devin just kept looking at each other like, oh my God, did they just say that? <laughs> and I think it's so funny, you know watching something as a kid and then going back to it as an adult, you realize all the things that you didn't notice as a kid. It's getting off long. I feel I don't want her legs to be super long. I may have to stop and measure that. Because I don't know if it means 11 inches of leg or like 11 inches from foot to leg. Because I mean, if I make an 11 inch leg, that's, that's a lot of leg. <laughs> so I might have to go look at that pattern. It's been 31 minutes, so I'm, I'm probably going to stop, and then I might come back, and if I don't, my hand screen thingy will come up, and yeah. <laughs>